In Activity 5, Shadows Opposite Light, students survey indoor and outdoor shadows and observe the change in direction when the light source is moved. Students then conclude that a shadow always falls opposite the light source that creates it. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 5, Light Sources with Bulbs, Foam Cones, Foam Discs, Bottle of Glue, and an Extension Cord. You will also need to provide scissors and assorted objects such as spools, balls, cups, staplers, or a roll of tape. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5 for each student. Note that this activity must be done on a sunny day. Prepare the room so that it can be darkened as much as possible. Collect extension cords as needed and plug in the light sources with light bulbs and place them on desks or tables. Light sources should be positioned far enough away from each other so as to have no interference. Collect enough assorted objects, preferably tall ones that will cast good-sized shadows, so that each team of four has at least three objects. Each team of four will need four objects, including one cone or disc and a light source with a light bulb. To complete the activity sheet, each student will need a pair of scissors and access to the glue. To begin the activity, take the class on a walk around the school grounds or neighborhood. Instruct students to point out shadows and the objects that make them. The student should note shadows from playground equipment, trees, buildings, parked cars, signs, and so forth. Invite students to point out the shadow they find the most interesting. Then, stop in one place with a variety of shadows. Ask students, how are these shadows made? Students should recall that the shadows are formed when the objects they see block the light from the sun. Draw students' attention to which way the shadows are falling. Ask students, where is the light source for these shadows? The students should point to the sun. Remind them not to look directly at the sun. Then ask, why do you think all the shadows fall on the same side? Accept all answers at this time. Back in the classroom, assign each team of four to a light source and give them four different objects, including a cone or a disc. Instruct students to set up their objects about a meter away from the light source and arrange them in a straight line. Remember to warn students not to touch or reach over the light bulbs because they can get very hot. Once they have done this, darken the room and ask students, what do you notice about the shadows? Students should notice that they all fall on the same side of the objects. Have students move the lamps about one meter to the other side of the row of objects. Then ask, what happens to the shadows? Students should note that the shadows also switch sides. Ask students, how can you explain the change in the shadows that you made? Students should say that the shadows moved from one side to the other because the light source was moved from one side to the other. Finally, ask students, how can you tell which way a shadow will fall? Students' responses will vary. Next, turn on the lights and ask students, does anyone know what the word opposite means? If they do not suggest it, inform students that opposite means across from or on the other side of. Turn the lights off again and point out that the lamps are directly across from the shadows. The lamps are on one side of the objects and the shadows fall on the other side of the objects. Ask students, do the shadows fall opposite the light source? Explain to students that any time you have a shadow, it will always fall opposite its light source. Finally, turn the lights back on in the room. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 5, a pair of scissors, and access to the glue. Instruct students to cut out the shadows and glue them in the appropriate places. Then, review the students' work with them. To conclude the activity, have the students return the cones, discs, and glue to the kit. Unplug the light sources and return them to the kit as well. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.